It don't matter what background you come from. It doesn't matter what walk of life you have journeyed through. God can use you. God can use you. Rahab was the prostitute who hid the two spies. But her love for God, she repented. And her love for God is what God looked at. Although her background was very unfamous for the city she lived in. And even of the world today, a prostitute, people would look down on. But I'm telling you that God doesn't look down on anyone, no matter what walks of life they have come from. God loves the sinner. His grace covers us, our sins. All he asks is that we repent and come to him and he will do the rest. It doesn't matter what you have done in life. Your past does not define you. Your past does not keep you bound for Jesus went to the cross and died for our sins. So that means that those sins are covered by the blood of Jesus. Rahab was a prostitute, but God loved her unconditionally. And God loves you unconditionally, no matter what multiple, multiple sins you have committed or done. God still loves you. So he can use you. So you're not a failure. You're not a misfit. You are not a throwaway. You are more than a conqueror because you are loved by God, the almighty. God is your father. And you are loved unconditionally. So it doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what kind of things that you have done in the past. It doesn't matter how you acted. Although you may have done something that you feel is just terrible. God can use you. God can use anybody. He can use you. The things that the world has thrown to the side. God can use. Those things that you have went through. They will be testimonies to somebody else. Don't ever think that God has thrown you to the side or threw you away. You are not. You are loved. You are loved. You are a precious jewel to God. You are the apple of God's eye. He loves you. He knew you before you was even in the wound. He already had life destined for you. He already had a life picked out for you. He came to give you life and give you it more abundantly. Come to Jesus. Live for Jesus. God bless.